Uh, hello and uh, welcome to uh, Biotechnology Lecture Series. Uh, today is uh, session 2. Uh, in the previous lecture, we have discussed about nucleic acid 1 and today we will be discussing about uh, uh, nucleic acid structure uh, and importance we will be discussing. We will be discussing today the structure of the DNA. Uh, yeah, this is interesting. Uh, please guess the scientist. So here it is uh, uh, the lady. Uh, she is Rosalind Franklin and uh, this is Crick and this is Watson. Uh, uh, the people behind the structure of the DNA and the important uh, uh, photograph uh, 51. So this is uh, Watson, Crick, Wilkins and Rosalind Franklin and this is the work of Rosalind Franklin uh, which uh, revealed an idea uh, that uh, the structure of the DNA is a helix <coughs> made up of two strands of DNA. So it clearly shows so this is one strand of DNA and this is another strand of the DNA. Uh, uh, it got uh, clear from the X-ray uh, crystallography studies uh, made by this pioneer lady, uh, Rosalind Franklin. And this is all about the uh, how and from where it started and uh, still it is progressing uh, to uh, from uh, the new from the nucleus to the chromosome to the cell to the genome to the genetic code. <laughs> and to the structure and currently uh, where we are uh, we are somewhere in the personal genome uh, we are in genome sequencing now the dna structure properties and functions we'll see today the discovery of dna structure is one of the hallmarks in the modern biology based on the assumptions of uh, chargaff and uh, utilizing x-ray diffraction data obtained from uh, crystallization of DNA by Rosalind Franklin and Maurice Wilkins. James Watson and Francis Crick proposed a model for the structure of DNA in the year 1953. They established that DNA has a double helical structure made up of uh, two complementary anti-parallel polynucleotide strands uh, that wound around each other in a rightward direction. The backbone of the helix is sugar phosphate and the bases are in the interior of the helix and extended at 90 degree uh, perpendicular to the axis of the helix. Uh, bases from op opposite helix pair with each other. So yesterday I was telling you that uh, we have a backbone and the bases are inside. So we have another uh, uh, strand another backbone where we have another nitrogen bases inside and these two nitrogen bases they pair. So usually uh, bases from opposite helix pair with each other, purines from base pair with pyrimidines as a thumb rule, A will pair with T and C will pair with G and vice versa. According to uh, this pattern known as Watson Crick base pairing. The special features of DNA structure are it is a double helical structure. One polynucleotide forms one strand, two such strands form a double helix. Uh, chain has a sugar phosphate backbone and the bases are arranged perpendicular to the chain. It means, uh, so if this is the chain and the bases are perpendicular, so this is a base, right? And this is the backbone, right? Okay. The two strands are anti parallel to each other, one runs in 5 prime to 3 prime direction. I said you what is 5 prime and what is 3 prime. So we have to recollect 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and uh, this is our 5. So here this becomes the 5 because 5 is in the top of the sugar and the other one is in the 3 prime to 5 prime direction. Here the sugar is inverted and 3 comes first. Uh, 3 comes first. So we call this as a 3 prime direction. 
and uh, A and T and G and C occur as complementary base pairing. Uh, one turn of the helix is 36 angstrom and 10 base pairs are found per turn with a rise of 3.6 angstrom per unit per nitrogen base pair. On the surface of the double helix two deep grooves are found which are called as major grooves and uh, minor grooves. The helix is right handed along the axis. The, bases, the base pairs are hydrogen bonds with each other and impart stability to the structure. So, adenine thymine has two hydrogen bonds and guanine cytosine has three hydrogen bonds. So, this gives the stability to the helix. Yeah, what all we discussed? It is shown here. Uh, uh, this is our, uh, yeah. This is our backbone, right? And this is another uh, sugar, uh, another uh, polynucleotide. Okay and uh, the bases are perpendicular so these are the bases that are perpendicular to the backbone right when we look into the backbone see here why this is phi prime end because here the phi uh, phi fifth carbon of the sugar is facing upward so hence it is phi prime and here the three prime of the sugar uh, so if this is your sugar so this is your 3 1 2 and this is 3 so this is facing upward hence this becomes the 3 prime end so because the sugars are inverted here uh, you can see the this is an inverted sugar so this is a, another polynucleotide and uh, uh, this is one uh, backbone and this is another backbone the bases are perpendicular and the cytosine pairs with gone in with the hydrogen bonds So, uh, this is another way of representation which you can write in your examination. It is quite easy to write. Uh, you can show the uh, per turn, you can show, you can show 3 prime, 5 prime, you can show, you can show uh, uh, the major groove, you can show the mi minor groove, right. And uh, now we will look into the various conformations of the DNA. So, there are three important conformations of DNA. Uh, ADNA, BDNA, ADNA and ZDNA or ZDNA. Please look at the structures. Uh, the ZDNA is called as uh, zigzag DNA. Why it is called as ZDNA means because it is zigzag in shape. Hence, we call it as an uh, uh, ZDNA or ZDNA. Uh, BDNA is a right-handed helix. It is a right-handed helix and this is a left-handed helix. So, the properties we will see here, comparative properties we will see here. Uh, of uh, So, B DNA is the natural DNA and it is present abundantly, right. Uh, the type of the helix, B DNA is right-handed helix, uh, A DNA is also a right-handed helix and uh, Z DNA is a left-handed helix and uh, diameter of the helix is around uh, B DNA 2.37, this is 2.55 and this is 1.84 rise per base pair here it is 0.34 here it is 0.29 and here it is 0.37 distance uh, per complete turn so here it is 3.4 here it is 3.2 and here it is 4.5 number of base pairs per complete turn so here we are having 10 bases per turn and here it is 11 and here it is 12 topology of the major group it is wide and deep it is narrow and deep it is flat Topology of minor group, it is narrow and shallow, it is broad and shallow, it is narrow and deep. So, these are the three comparative features of uh, polymorphic forms of DNA. Right. Uh, so, with this, uh, we will stop here. In the next class, we will be discussing about the structure of the RNA. Okay. Thank